So, welcome to the newest episode in the series. We are going to be doing a couple things here. Uh, first off, uh, this is following my 99s. So, I'm still a little bit in shock uh, and excited. But in this video, we're going to be getting the Masterwork Armor. I'm going to do the achievement for it. Um, though, I probably won't make it because looking at the amount of steps... It is quite ridiculous, uh, and then it looks like I need to do Empire Need, so we're going to do that. That way I can do the Phoenix Daily, and that is the quest done. I got these quills. Uh, they're worth 22000 Okay, so that's like a free 100 k a day. Uh, we will gladly take that, but I am going to go back there and do i think i can still do the daily so we're gonna go do that real quick and see what we get oh i'm so sorry phoenix but uh you're only level 84 i'm just uh gonna put an end to you see ya come on give me just give me the egg just go ahead Give me the egg. Make it easy on me. They changed how some of this looks. Huh. Come on, loot. And we will gladly take an achievement and some XP. Oh, no egg. That's okay. That's okay. We got a quest done. We got an egg. We're chilling now to do some others. And I got some Triskelion keys here. So let's go and undo both of these. Let's see what we get. Come on, something good. Okay, well, I mean, an elite's cool. We'll bank the rest. And what do we get in the second one? Uh, pretty much nothing. So we'll bank the rest of that. And let's see if I can go ahead and. Ooh, we'll do crafting. Fishing or farming? We'll do wood cutting. And room crafting. Look at that. And we'll throw this on farming. Sweet. So now we will go back here. We're going to do a farming run real quick. And we'll grab out our. We need to do some quests here soon because we have got quite a few of clues to do. So that's going to be something, or not quests, we got some clues to do. But uh, let's go ahead and do our presets for farming, which is number eight. Eventually I will memorize that. Go ahead and clear this. And then we'll go and do this now. And that is the herb run done. I am thinking I will probably start doing like allotments. Uh, now that I'm higher up, I would think I'll start doing fly traps. I just gotta go figure out uh, what it looks like, I guess, price wise, and do that. But, you know, for one herb run to yield about 500k, we will gladly take that. Um, and it's pretty good XP. Her click box is so weird. So at 1.8k favor. So a few more runs and I should be able to get to the tier 3. So coming up pretty quickly. But I am overall uh, pretty happy uh, with where things are going now. So here we are doing some hard mode Criara. I've never done the hard mode before but it's really interesting to see how uh, the mechanics of it are like here in a second it's going to kind of like go to the center become invulnerable for a second which I find interesting like here it goes right now so I can actually just uh, kill these right here in the meantime we can go ahead spec hit at 18,000 we can cast bloat keep our summonings up 
Oh, uh, what the heck did she just hit me with? She just meleeed me for like a 5k? I've never seen that. What in the world? I mean, it is hard mode, but like... Like, worrying about dying on Kree. What in the world? She wasn't doing this damage earlier. Where did all this damage come from all of a sudden? What the heck? Give me something. Nothing. Damn. Never lucky. But yeah, we're going to do some Kree for this uh, Reaper task. And then we'll probably go and do our Calgarians and go from there. So, good luck to me. Well, we are just AFKing. I need to remember that with, like, Kriara, I can pretty much just camp here as long as I have prayer. So, pretty much just bring full things of prayer, and I can sit here for the full hour AFK, and I won't have any problems. But if I go to something like Krill, uh, I could actually just bring food and not bring any prayer potions, and I'll be okay. And that's sort of how I'm going to go about it. Um... Pretty much me and the clan are ones camping Krill, I'm camping Kree, whoever gets the first drop of the piece, whether it's chest, boots, legs, chest, that's the boss running camp. So we're going to do that. Um, I've got two more Kriara kills until I uh, am done with my Reaper task, which is fine, and then I'll probably just finish this trip up, and from there, uh, you know, go on, probably do some Slayer. And then work on the masterwork. You know, I take back what I said in the previous clip. I don't need, like, any prayers. Or really food. I, I can just go here and go AFK. You're kidding me. A God Sword Shard 1? That's twice as rare. What? Well, my hour here at Kree is just about up. I got another Guard Sword Shard 1, you know, and that's kind of it. Is I haven't gotten anything else worthy of noting. Uh, it would be nice to be able to actually try to finish the collection log off, but I'm guessing that's not going to happen. Uh, I might be able to get another kill before this is over. That I don't know yet, but I mean most of my kills the fastest I set was a 18 second PR But I mean beyond that everything else is gonna be you know anywhere from like 20 to 30 odd seconds like even my overload ward off like I have kind of just sitting here and so I might go do uh, Calgarians after this if I get you know another kill we'll do that and then i'll call it because i can't seem to get anything at all uh maybe i go and heck I, I might just go and do a uh hermod for a little bit i haven't killed him in a little while now but i can comfortably pretty much afk this boss at work if i wanted to and try to get some drops so i might do that tomorrow i don't know yet so I'm going to try out doing some magic. I haven't done mage or anything of the such in a while. But I will say I'm probably going to get just as fast kills, which isn't the best. Wait, does that not... Where's the AoE? I mean, okay, whatever. But yeah, we're going to do that and just see how things go. There's no way, on like my fourth or fifth kill out here in the wilderness, I get, why did it get dark all of a sudden? Uh, game? I got the Demon Slayer skirt, which is not worth anything, but I, it's one of the, you know, rare drops. It's, okay, I was trying to see what that message was. Okay, this is getting really annoying with them moving me. But getting a drop like that is going to my collection log so I can uh, begin finishing up the Wilderness collection log. 
Okay, I've got to say, Necromancer against these is tremendously faster. Like, it's night and day difference as to how much damage I can output and how fast these things die compared to magic. So I'm like I'm not even gonna worry right now about anything else unless I get a task where like I have to. Cause frankly, wait, why does he have a hundred thousand? I don't know, but he is uh, destroying me right now. So yeah, we're gonna kill him real quick and then kill some more Calgarians. You what? What the fuck? What is this? The battle commendation? Oh, it's a title. What? There, okay. What? There's no way. Oh my gosh. Not at a boss. Dude, I can't get a drop when I'm at a boss. But yeah, put me on a slayer task and I'll get a ta I'll get drops. Like what? Okay, hold up. I've got Calgarian Demons. The Calgarian Battle Commendation is 1 in 512. Now, really what I want here from them is the Adrenaline Urn. Where I can store Adrenaline in it. But that's a 1 in 1024. So, uh, you know, not saying we can't get it. Don't... Don't, uh, of course you wanted to step closer to me. All right, we're just going to have to do this and try to kill off everything attacking me at once because he wants to pipe in and try to do something. But okay, that's actually crazy. So I get the title of Blood Chiller. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna actually use that. That's such a sick title. Uh, yeah, we're not the master fisherman anymore. We are the blood chiller. You know, we got a new name, new respect, and I'm getting absolutely dookied on right now by this. The greater demons honestly do the most damage. Okay, seriously. If I get low here, I'm going to have to TP out and I'm going to come back. Because, like, I could die. Like, it's not going to, like, impact me if I die. But at the same time, I don't want to die. I don't want to go back and have to re-get my boost and everything else. So, now let's see here. We're going to throw this on. And we're going to see if we can heal up and not die here. That actually reminds me, after I finish this task, which if it takes too long, I'm going to have to see, it's these guys right here. I'm going to have to just go around them. Um, I need to go do my, go check my mission, and then I also need to do my farm run because those will be giving me good XP. So I think we'll head back here, and like, yeah, I could probably get multi-targeted, but I'd rather that than to deal with... Uh, the graders because they're really the only ones that did a ton of damage to me and probably my vampirism going down doesn't help either okay this game's slightly trolling me i get a dragon spear from the greater berserker like okay whatever and like he roamed from all the way over there to me so i almost made a big mistake I realize there is ripper demons over here like as one walked up really close to me and I was warned now mind you I don't know but I was warned that ripper demons will tear me up so I don't even want to test to find out how bad 
like, I mean, they don't look like, like, they look dangerous. But, like, health-wise, they don't look all that bad. So, you know, I'm a bit concerned. Um, you know, I really don't feel like dying. So, uh, there is that. But, uh, you know, hey, maybe, maybe I do one. That I do not know yet. And Slayer Task done. That wasn't too bad. And, you know, I got some cool drops. Um, you know, building up this tab here. Um, I do want to do the Reapers. Uh, not Rippers, but Reapers. So I need to go real quick. And uh, I, from my understanding of it, I do have to go to Perth Dennis, talk to a person, and then I unlock uh, the Raptor. Okay, so to do Raptor, which I started, so I can't go and do anything else now. I actually have to, uh, and this is just kind of frustrating. Um, I actually have to do un, I have to do murder on the border and then unwelcome guest. And then after I do unwelcome guest, uh, I think he is there. And then I can then do another quest, Dead and Buried, which I may or may not be required. I don't know yet, but I'm looking at at least 45 minutes before I can even do anything uh, Slayer-related. Yeah, so this is his sister. You better not ruin the banquet. Yeah, we're going to come in with some heat there, you know? But yeah, so... Uh, about halfway done with this quest and then we'll do one more which is fine I mean I did need to eventually do them to finish for in three like all the way so this is uh someone unimportant I'm sure and there we go we're gonna just roast all these people but the you know I eventually needed to do this and I guess now it's kind of forcing me to which is fine you know you get to do some learning Okay, so that's done. I got a construction lamp, a prismatic lamp, the ability to build all three tiers of the kitchen, and two treasure hunter keys. Uh, cool. I don't know why sometimes they glitch out like that. So, you know, cool. That's, uh, you know, that's nice. Um, I really don't know how this thing works. Cool cool okay so now that that's done we are at 364 quest points now to do unwelcome guest Whew. okay so that's done cool so we should be able to now get a task from him so let's see so if I You are currently returned to him if I need help. I thought I was supposed to talk to him. It's just this 10 special assignment. Okay, I'm confused. Uh, I guess I'm going to go back. I swear, if I just did those quests for nothing... I mean, I got them done, but... If I did them for nothing, essentially. Okay, so I am now reading... What exactly this special challenge is. Um... Yeah, so that's going to be a fun one to say the very least uh, and I say that because what it includes is I need to kill 10 different bosses now I can kill all of them pretty easily without trouble the only one that might give me a little bit of trouble is Araxor but that's why the wiki suggests to start with Araxor then the giant mole DK's QBD Ziliana, Criara, Krill, Grador, KQ, and then KBD. So, if I complete it, I get a famous title. And it's actually a requirement for the completion escape. So, I guess I'll need to do this at uh, some point. So, I guess I'll do it. Um, you know, for now, I'm going to do a farming run. And then I'll probably be going to bed. So, this will be a tomorrow thing I do. 
But uh, yeah, so it looks like we've got something to do now. Okay, so we are back. We've been doing, I have no idea what ability that is, but I need to actually hop worlds. Nope. So as I was saying, we have accomplished a lot. And I mean a lot today. Uh, so, for instance, we went from 95 to 96 on fishing. So let's go ahead and hop worlds here. I want to finish this Slayer task real quickly. And then we did camp a couple hours at Krill uh, Sutsurath, and we got the hood of... Uh, or the garb, whatever it is. The Hood of Subjugation, essentially, is what we got. So we did get a drop there, which was like 8 mil. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Let's see, we have 78 skeletons. So we'll go ahead and camp here. Um, I went from 99 to 100 cooking, and that was mainly doing my clan capital capping. Um, I finished Movran's special challenge, so we did get that done, and we got the title for it, the famous. We went from 99 to 100 Slayer. We also went from 99 to 100 Necromancy. So if you were to ask me, we made some pretty good progress, uh, accomplished quite a bit, and I still have a lot I need to do, uh, of which... It's going to be a, a mix of things, but we will have to just see. I've got some quests I'm going to do. Uh, I need to set up a preset for all of my dailies. So I press this one and I can run through all of my dailies and be done. That is something that I am going to do probably here later before the daily reset occurs. Uh, so that'll be everything except for like farm runs, which I need to go and mess with. Um, so that'll be like archaeology and the like getting it all set up so all that I have to do is simply press a button knock out all my dailies each day and continue onwards uh, my archaeology finished one of my uh, trips at the port finished which I do want to finish that completely uh, so I am working towards that but I'd say you know I'm pretty happy with where we are at right now um, after I finish this Slayer task, I'll go grab another one. Then we will go and do our dailies. And then we'll finish off the episode with the Masterwork Armor. Because uh, my understanding is that you can buy it. Though, I need to make sure. Because I, I can make it, yes. But it will take a long time to make it. And to be honest, I don't think the cost to make it versus buying it is too much difference. Um, like it costs right now, I think a total of 53 mil in glorious bars just to make it. Um, you know, I could go ahead and do everything, but what I'll do is I'm going to at least finish the achievement for it, which is making a full Elder Rune uh, plus five set, which I can do. And I'll knock that out. Uh, it'll cost me, you know, something. It'll make me about three mil, which looking at it, actually, if I can just buy plus four, make plus five, and it's not too, too long. I mean, that's not too bad of money. That's relatively AFK and smithing XP. It might be a decent method there. Uh, but it would cost me about 53 mil for all the bars or I can just buy it all for about 57 mil and then I can augment the plate body and plate legs which I am going to likely do and in reality I might only buy the plate body plate legs um, I don't necessarily know I am guess I might grab the helm as well because the gloves and boots are nice but they're not necessary I already have a pair of boots they're not those they're not as good more than likely, uh, but they're decent. So there are some workarounds that could possibly make things a bit easier on myself here. So that's kind of the game plan going forward. So I just finished 
and I got my first special raptor assignment, which will yield me a trophy. Uh, these are something that I do need to do. So I'm looking forward to finishing this up and getting all the trophies. Well, it looks like we can buy a death touch dart. We can get some rune span points. And good luck. Nothing. Cool. So we can go ahead and do this. And we're going to go through do some dailies before we head on over and begin doing the... And I was scouting. I was scouting. But we are going to go through, do this, and our dailies real quick. So I didn't realize this is where you unlock these elders. So I unlocked the elder overload. Uh, I just finished a vial run. Which isn't too bad a profit. Um, I do need to do Herbie Werby and get that done. But I guess before we do Herbie Werby, we'll go ahead and finish this off. Get the achievement. And then we'll head back and work on Herbie Werby and the such. And that is the helm done. Uh, it's actually pretty quick. And I'm really happy because I will max out my respect where I can finally get the auto reload for the cannon. Uh, I did get royal, and now I just need the auto reload. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's change our cannon. I want the royal, and then we have 100%. So there's some things, you know, I've already unlocked the Nectarian. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the restocking cannon, because I've done most of this and Jorvan Instinct actually is phenomenal. I've got it active right now just for some like pretty much passive rewards every now and then. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to go through this. Um, this one is going to be the longest. It is 80,000 experience. So this one will take a little while uh, and then the round shield should be relatively quick. And there is the plate body finished. Okay, so I finished making it to tier five. Is that not is that not an achievement? It literally that's what it says is the achievement to do is just make it from four to five. Um that's a little frustrating. It says it Requires 99 Smith and in the completion of it should have called it should have been called Ethereum. Is an achievement completed by making and upgrading a full set of Elder Rune armor to plus five. This requires a full set of plus four and 192 Elder Rune bars or 384 if making room set. Oh no. Oh no, it's actually gauntlets and the boots, not the, okay. Well, let's go do the gauntlets and the boots. And there is the achievement. And then we're also going to get, I think this will put us at 99. Nope. We are super close. So we're going to go ahead and actually get 99 here. Give me one second here let's do at the cabbage port we're gonna grab this 99 real quick and that will give us 99 farming which is extremely exciting um, I need to make sure so okay so this is universal so we're gonna go ahead and put all that in there we're going to compost Super compost, and then we'll do 400. It's going to cost me like a mil. We're going to get 99 real quick. And here it comes. Assuming this one doesn't screw me over. One more. One more. And there it is. 99 farming. Whew. I can't tell you how happy that makes me to finally get. So with that, we will be wrapping up the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.